Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? Listen, new information about the Kim and Pete debacle. Pete, listen, is low-key dragging Kim. Now, he's issued statements through sources to plenty of publications, but the newest one is... Yo, there's rumors that Pete's friends are trying to hook him up with someone. Y'all, watch this space. I swear to God, if he pops up with Olivia O'Brien. Woo, we're going to have to get the Investigation Award of the Year. Pete's also saying that they broke up between the, because the spark faded between them. But not only that, there's more. Isn't I find it funny? Not funny, ha ha, but funny, hmm, that the one thing Kim kept bragging about with Pete was the fact that Pete had time for her. Pete could go to doctor's appointments. Pete could go to CVS. Pete could get her ice cream. Well, guess what? Pete let it be known. One of the reasons he's leaving that relationship is because he needs to concentrate on his career and his goals. And guess what? He is not happy with being typecast as an idiot and literally people thinking that there is something wrong with them or that he's just this groupie that literally follows somebody around the gold puppy dog getting ice cream y'all listen i said it once and i said it again pete kim kardashian no, let me rewind that pete tristan thompson and kim kardashian Kim Kardashian, you know Kris Jenner is sitting there mad. You know, Kim, because again, I do believe that Kim actually did fall for Pete's stuff. Yes, it started off with a PR relationship. Maybe it's still a PR relationship. However, I do believe that Pete, that Kim fell for Pete's little act, hook, line, and sinker. And I think she's shocked that the attention that he was heaping on her is gone. But let's get into the reports because baby, you know, you know, you know. Then I'm going to dig deep for an article, dig deep for a receipt, and also <laughs> dig deep and give you my opinion. One of three all the time. Sometimes you even get three out of three. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Then hit the like button. Why are y'all so quiet? Why have you not hit the like button? What happened? I thought we were all like, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's get into this. Where do we want to start? You know what? Let's talk about this, right? First of all, Pete showed up looking bright as sunshine, leaving in Australia, working on this movie. I know there have been pictures circulating about him looking shad in a car, but it wasn't about Kim. It was the last day of filming, and he was sad to be going away because... The one thing on every movie, Bodies, 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 this magician's movie, and the other movie that everybody says about Pete is he is a consummate professional. He shows up. He has his lines memorized. He is. They say that he is a pleasure to work with. Now, we'll see if he's a good actor. But the point is, he's taking his career very seriously because, baby, say what you want, and I don't understand why some of you guys don't get it. Pete is a Scorpio. Pete is a man. I don't care how much he laid on his back <laughs> or dug for gold to get ahead. At the end of the day, he wants other men to respect him. He wants his peers to respect him. And for all y'all in the comments talking about, oh my God, a woman can do the same thing and nobody calls her a gold digger. First of all, yeah, they do. And Pete does not want to be on the feminine side of things. He longs to be powerful. He longs to be respected. The fact that Kim was sitting there on national TV bragging that she he was just basically a glorified uh, toy, that he was basically... Her little lap dog. Do you really think that sat well with him? Also, he's trying to come across as a leading man. Yeah, he's playing these little sidekick movies, but eventually he hopes to be a leading man. You cannot do that playing this. Again, I know Kim Kardashian showed y'all a Lisa Frank fantasy about what her relationship's right, but it did not fit into Pete's larger image. But let's look at these pictures of Pete out and about because he is looking happier than a mug. Look at this mofo out walking around with his little scraggly pants to the scraggly. Look at this. Dirty sock realness giving crunchy socks summer. It's a genre. It's a genre. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Side note, I finally figured out one thing. This is why Pete always wears black socks because I think he thinks that you can't see the dirt prints on the bottom of If you wore white socks and you could tell the floor was dirty. And plus, white socks crunchy? No. He figured out a way against his chloric aversion and that's why he gonna be wearing black socks to the day he dies listen you better get it how you live it those frito flavored socks and crunchy everything literally got you a career come up you better get it how you live it but anyway listen to these reports a source told entertainment tonight 
Peter's bum things didn't work out with Kim, but he's focused on the future in terms of his career and personal life. It's said some of his friends already want to set him up on dates. And another revealed that the spark between Pete and Kim has faded. Faded. They said he had tons of chemistry. They still do. But, 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 but it faded. Now, they're trying to say it wasn't anything drama. It wasn't anything this. I, yes, I believe that on Kim's side. And I also believe, and from what I've seen of Kim, that's just my opinion. I also believe they're holding off on completely destroying Pete because they're hoping maybe they can get him back. Maybe it'll be a season two storyline or maybe they can use him to antagonize uh, Kanye a little bit more. But it's not that. But it's not that. Kim felt like Pete was the extreme opposite of Kanye and it was good for her then. However, was he really? Because he still dumped you to focus on his career. As a matter of fact, Kanye made his career lifting you up and enriching you. Now, I don't know what happened outside of it. Maybe he was completely horrible to her. I'm not judging why you feel like you need to uh, uh, leave a relationship. But I am saying Pete's career, he looks at you as a detriment. He looks at you. He looks at you as something holding you back. Interesting enough, get this. There was another source that said Pete and Kim broke up. The distance has been hard and things are starting to fizzle out. Pete being away for so long was hard for them. Let's also not forget that once Kim was no longer convenient for Pete, that's when things started to fizzle out. Because Pete didn't even feel like raising an eyebrow in and in anything. But you guys, remember those reports that happened a long time ago? That Pete's people were like, don't appear for the Kardashians. You don't need them for, you don't need that to push your career forward. It's not going to help you. And everybody was like, wait, is he going to appear on Keeping Up with the Kardashian? Is he going to become her boyfriend on TV? I don't know. But People Magazine said, yeah, Kim and Pete were definitely slowing down. Things heated up quickly in the beginning. That's because he saw all that money and was like, ooh, scoot over. Let me get some of that. And listen, heated up quickly in the beginning when he could travel back and forth to see Kim and spend time with her. But his schedule has gotten so packed. Pete is still super bummed, though, about the breakup. They really hit it off and had fun together. It feels like it ran its course. Y'all, they ain't never getting back together. But again, you guys... So when Kim was bragging that he had all this time, he really did all have all this time. And you know what's so weird? You know how like on Twitter, they'll be like, when you meet someone and they're sleeping on your couch and you're doing all this stuff to uplift them and enrich them, they're fine doing that. But the minute they get on this feet, that's when they dump you and find the person they really wanted to be with. Yo, Pete just did a glorified version of that. If you can believe it because isn't that what he said he was fine to go to thrifty he was fine to do this when he had nothing to do but now that he has all these big projects kim who boo move big head get out the way of your little twig legs lastly and this is a big thing i want to point out do you think that kim portraying him as like a lap dog puppy big dummy and all the stuff when she was proposing the relationship really really rubbed him the wrong way because don't forget when he was on heart to heart pete literally just said that he feels he feels that he's done a lot of ish and he isn't just a big effing dummy but the roles he's recently been offered suggest people think otherwise he said i'm in a place where i'll do other shows and i come in and they have stuff written for you and all the dialogue is like i'm a big effing idiot hey let's smoke a doobie oh yeah now here's the thing they didn't talk about smoking doobies but he she did try to present him as like this dumb lap dog she said every he, Kim, uh, Kim, Pete went on to say every joke is just like well you know me I'm a big effing idiot he also said that even though being self depreciating is his thing he liked to branch out in terms of the roles he plays he said I'm trying to find a healthy balance between ooh that's nice he's confident and not like ooh you know but still some sort of humbleness because I think I'll always be sort of humble and self depreciating but I don't want people to think I'm an effing idiot you guys the writing was all always on the wall we called it but the fact that the takeaway is pete didn't got tired of playing that role it was no longer convenient he was sick of playing kim's lapdog and last but not least ooh, let's not forget that little nugget they dropped in his friends are trying to hook him up with people y'all i'm gonna be searching olivia o'brien's instagram page she better hide everything because if pete surfaces on there y'all <laughs> Woo! But let's not forget, Pete is having his dirty sock summer, so I don't expect Olivia to actually pop up. 
honestly until after in the fall i'm just saying i'm just saying you guys let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later bye